Am revenit aici în mijlocul naturii, alături de noi este în continuare Charlie Otley, cel care realizează frumoasele documentare despre România, care a realizat de asemenea și documentarele împreună cu prințul Charles. So, I understand that you like to stay more when you are coming here to us. Mm -hmm. You know, you like to stay more in the hotel or in uh, two people houses. I have a lot of friends here now. <laughs> so, I, I I used to stay in hotels. Um, I have friends who have hotels and so I still stay with them. Yeah. But I have a lot of friends now who I go and stay in the houses and it's yes. fun. And you know, we have we have parties, we have fires, we we cook up food on the fire. It's great. I love all of that. And coming up here to the countryside is amazingly inspiring and relaxing, and I love it. It's my way to unwind <laughs> to come up here, you know. Um, so, and it's interesting to see that there are a lot of people now who are building quite smart lodges, which are bringing a lot of tourists into the area who are spending money, and it's 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 then enabling the people that work there to restore their own houses. There's a very good example of that. Um, uh, a, a, a chap called Jonas Schaffer who who has a place called Valle Verde in Yeah. Um, he has um, an amazing lodge there and uh, the food is out of this world um, you know uh, I, I think traditionally Romanian food was very sort of quite staid um, because you know the not too many foreign influences but now as, as we're getting this great effusion with all these wonderful organic ingredients yeah. that we've been talking about the possibilities for creating cuisine based on Romanian recipes is endless so he's, he's, he's basically transformed this community in Kund um, to um, Uh, to offer you know, really good livelihoods for the people living in and around and learning to cook or having jobs working in conjunction with with what he's doing there and people can come from all over the world and I've taken a trip there with with some people from Boston who um, who, who, I, who I took on a tour of Romania and they said it was a trip of a lifetime and we had exceptional food and we had eggs benedict in the morning with fresh truffles picked from the forest yeah. grated on our eggs benedict and everyone was blown away and it's 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 a, it's a perception of Romania that, that a lot of foreign people don't have yeah. and they come in and then they see that gosh you can have this amazing time yeah. it's traditional it's not it's not five star like plus that you'll get in Dubai but that I, I don't think anyone wants that here yeah you know you can have really comfortable beautiful rooms exactly. a lovely place sensational service fantastic food and a warm welcome and that's something that Romania does better than anybody else I think yeah. so that's that's cool um, In this yeah. second part of our TV show, I'd like to say something about your experience with Prince Charles. When he comes here, in, when he came here in Romania, what did he say about us uh, after the cameras? You know, after the registration. When the camera turns off. Yes. Well, actually, I have to be. I have to be honest. Exactly yeah. the same sort of thing he'd say when the camera was on. You know, he he um. So he is so in love with Romania. He loves Romania, and he is what what you see. He's he's um a fantastic enthusiast for Romania and he sees the value of it and I think he feels uh, a huge affection for the Romanian people and um, I think he really wants to help I think he's one of your best ambassadors frankly I'm sure and um, you know and and, and he realizes um, the value of preservation uh, conservation here protection of natural landscapes and, and 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 beautiful flower meadows and biodiversity because um, it's such a rarity to have these things yes you are ha uh, having some uh, activities here you know with the I children am. tell me about this well I'm working on two projects at the yes. moment um, I'm looking at the moment and uh, talking with potential sponsors to raise the money to make wild cup avia for the final episode we've done uh, the spring a little bit yeah. late spring summer and early autumn what we haven't done is late autumn in the winter and early spring. So Wild Carpathia 4, the final installment, um, will be the winter season. And there's a lot to see and do here. I think again people have this misconception about Romania that it's not a place to go in the winter. You know, I say come, come, come to England and, exactly. and then see that and then, <laughs> you know, I'll be over here. Yes, um, yes. You know, there's lovely things to do. I mean, you know, you go, I'm not, I, you know, you can go skiing here obviously, but I don't think building more ski resorts is the way forward. You have Bulgaria are doing that other people your your unique selling point as a country is that it's not been trashed so you know big ski resorts and things really make the the, the landscape and the mountains ugly and also cut off uh, migration routes for, for bears and things like this and the wilderness is 
probably one of the, the biggest things here, I think, for people. But um, you can go cross-country skiing, you can go sledding, you know, and pulled along in your big sleigh. Um, you know, there's, there's walking, snowshoeing, all kinds of things. There's the festivals to come and see. Or there's just listen to the carols, you know, from yeah, here. They, yeah, especially. exactly, exactly. Um, but, you know, the festival, the, uh, the, there's um, all the winter traditions. I mean, there are very many. I know you see the pictures of the dan people dressed as bears exactly. dancing, but there's, there's dozens, hundreds of others, in exactly. fact, in local communities communities all over the country. So I want to come and look at Christmas, the Christmas festivities and traditions, go through the winter, look at that. I want to see how people bring in the crops and, 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 and prepare for winter, uh, catch the first fall of snow um, and um, the leaves falling off the trees and you know the autumn colors fading as, as it turns, the landscape turns white. Uh, and then we go through uh, to the spring and show the, 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 the icicles and the waterfalls melting exactly. and, the, and, and, and the, 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 the snow falling off the trees and then spring coming back and the beauty of spring, the first flush of spring, which is a very special time to be here. So that's one thing I'm doing. The other thing I'm doing, and this is for me maybe the most important thing I've done so far, is environmental education is very low on the syllabus, I, I, I think here I, I, in schools, um, it's much higher in other uh, other countries. We're taught much more about environmental awareness, and, and the only way that that, that, that kids are going to value the ecosystem here, this beautiful landscape, is if they know about it. They know about the interrelation of the species, biodiversity, the importance of all these wonderful natural landscapes. So. I want to put together a package and I've been working with the European Nature Trust who have this fantastic bus which goes around and yeah. sees 15,000 children every yeah. year and teaches them about all these things. Um, but there's not been a film that's actually just about Romania showing important issues here that kids should know about from an environmental perspective. So this is the first thing I'm doing is making this film now and we have some children here who've just come from a, a festival and um, they're uh, involved in a project and they're going to go around this area of Buchech and pick up the litter and, um, and help clean it up because if you don't take care of these places uh, and they get uh, you know strewn with garbage then people stop caring at all they don't want to come here and when they don't come here it makes it much easier for other people to come in and take out the wood and if you lose the value of, of, the, of the natural environment around you, you lose the respect for it, it makes it much easier for big businesses to come and exploit that and take it away. So that's important to me and this short film I'm making is the start of what I hope will be an environmental program which I want to roll out to all the schools. Yeah. I want to talk to the Minister for Education because I need permission to, to be allowed to include this in the school curriculum but I would like to, I would like to create a, a module maybe via a website, a portal, to, uh, to, to supply to every school in Romania if they wish to use it on a voluntary basis, you know, not sort of forcing anyone to, to learn things, but, um, you know, they, they, should, they should be allowed to access it and teachers have a, a, a training program for them which they get through accessing the portal and films that they can show, like the film I'm making now and like Wild Carpathia 1, 2 and 3, with subtitles obviously. <laughs> and um, also on the other side, for kids to be able to go on and have online learning and be able to engage, uh, watch films, and actually upload their own films that they make, uh, <laughs> their own poetry, their own yeah. poetry about nature, their own short stories, their own research, and uh, also maybe you know their own photographs. So we have uh, photographic exhibitions judged by famous people. You know, uh, exactly. and won't mention any names, but yeah. uh, I know a few people who who I'm sure would be very happy to help. About this, I want to ask yeah. because I read about it on uh, the internet, on the newspapers mm. uh, about some discussion discussions with uh, some uh, big names from Hollywood like Nicole Kidman or Jude Law in a few years ago mm -hmm. about uh, Romania to appear in your documentary well, to talk about we, Romania. We are, we are talking to some people at the moment, again I, I, I can't mention names, but yes. we're talking to some people at the moment for Wild Carpathia 4 um, because I think it's important for, uh, particularly for children, yeah. to, to hear it from, from f big figures that they know and respect mm -hmm. and, and, and like and see and watch and root for in films and to see them, I, I think it, it, it has more uh, clout. Obviously we want to be talking to all sorts of different people um, from all different walks but I think also to have one big yes. famous person in the program will help. Besides um, 
Um, his child, so yeah, yeah, exactly. He's been he's already been exactly. he's already been incredibly Just kind. Hours. I cu I couldn't ask him a third time. Yes. I know I've, he's been so so amazing to help us this much. Yeah. So I need to find someone who everyone knows yeah. um, and who will be who will be able to talk about how important it is and how beautiful it is in Romania and what a wonderful place it is to, to come here and enjoy. Um, that will actually then help us get the publicity we need to to ensure that these films get seen by everyone not only in Romania but all over the world. So why tourists must live once in a life, let's say like that, the Romanian experience? Because there's nowhere else on the planet like this left. Everywhere else in Europe has been compromised. It doesn't have this number of beautiful unspoilt villages. It doesn't have this wilderness, it's such a stunning wilderness. It doesn't have all these big carnivores. It doesn't have such a perfectly intact ecosystem with amazing wildflowers and beautiful, beautiful plants and, and, and species of animals and plants and biodiversity. So this is unique. And also the people here, because they're so fantastic and they're wonderful. And anyone coming here, meeting the Romanian people, will, will, will uh, fall in love with this country just based on the people that they meet. So I think there's many things. But the main thing to say is there is nowhere left like Romania and I'm trying so hard to convince people in this country that the things that they're in, in, in many cases uh, destroying are actually the things that make them special and unique and we need to find a way to preserve the best of the, the, the old with the best of the new and, and not just throw out wholesale all our cultural values and all the, all, all, all the heritage in, in, in exchange for an American style, you know, commercial fast food mentality yeah. and lose all these beautiful traditions that we've got here at the moment because we've done it in other countries. We've done it in Britain to a large degree. And if you don't believe me, people should come and see. I would like to ask you mm. about uh, the donation, the donation for the nature, for the forest. Uh, how do you see this from uh, Romanian guys? From well, I, I think, you know, a, lo a lot of uh, publicity recently has been focused on people from abroad buying forest here. And they're not aware that this is money donated to a charity which is not about taking anything out but protecting the entire thing and creating this wonderful big big national park and um, you know there are people from all over the world who've become a part of this movement to create this Yellowstone of Europe and they've they've given vast sums of money not invested given vast sums of money. This is a vital difference. Um, I think people think here, oh, well, there must be something in it for them. There is nothing in it for them except the knowledge that they're doing something really, really worthwhile. And, and the, these areas of forest are going to be protected forever and given back to the Romanian people in perpetuity for, for, you know, for, for, for the future. So what I think is sad though is that there's been no one stepping forward from this country. I mean why is it that there are foreigners who are giving all their money to help the Romanian people and create a park for them to protect their interests for the future um, and, not, uh, and not allow people to you know, other okay. foreigners to come in exactly. and cut it all down and take the money abroad, but actually protect it all for, for Romania. Why isn't there any Romanians have actually come on board? Because there are some people with quite a bit of money in this country, and, and they should actually, you know, start giving as well. They should start donating money to causes like this because we need their help. And I, I'm going around and drumming up investment or uh, donations from people in London, in, 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 in America. Yeah. I, I, I screen Wild Carpathia all the way up the coast of America. Yes, we screened 10 places. We were in Boston, we were in New York, we were in Washington DC, hosted by the ambassador, the Romanian ambassador, who actually, uh, who actually shed a few tears after watching our film, yes. which was lovely. And yes. Miami, and, and all these places, and people are actually opening their pockets to help the people here in Romania and create this wonderful national park. So I would love to see some high profile figures here doing the same thing because it can't all come from outside. People here who can should get involved and help as well. It's embarrassing if they don't. Why are you so in love with Romania? You're Charlie. I'm in love with Romania because there's so much here that resonates with me. Uh, even the work I'm doing now 
all the help I've received from the wonderful people in Bran, uh, all here, you know, voluntary, um, uh, helping with the, the, the films I'm making to try to save this landscape and to protect it. And people are so enthusiastic and care, and they do care. You only have to see the amount of people marching for Roger Montana to, you know, to protest. Um, and, and that represents a speck, a little grain of sand on the map compared to the vast environmental tragedy that's unfolding here with the forests. It's the elephant in the room. There's, there's something going on here which is, which is unbelievably shocking and huge, and yet we're all kind of not knowing what to do about it at the moment. So uh, I care deeply and I also I want to affect some positive change here because I'd love to see this country become, you know, proud of its natural heritage in a way that makes it a unique example to the rest of the world. I, as I said, look at Yellowstone Park. Uh, you could have the Yellowstone Park of Europe here, which would set an example to other, other countries, other nations, and would bring a massive amount of interest and money and sustainability of income to the people living in these areas. So that for me is a mission and, um, and I love walking these mountains and uh, swimming in the rivers and um, not leaving a footprint but enjoying nature and, and, and being at one with nature. So where else better in Europe can you come and do that? Charlie, thank you very much for your presence here in our TV show but thank you a lot for what are you, what are you doing for us, for Romania. My pleasure, thank you so much. Doamnelor și domnilor, aceasta a fost ediția noastră specială de aici, în mijlocul naturii. Așadar, rămâneți cu sufletul curat, rămâneți cu sufletul aici, în mijlocul naturii, în mijlocul pădurii și de ce nu să ne iubim țara, pentru că, după cum putem observa, foarte mulți străini fac acest lucru. Mai bine să-l facem noi și să fim un exemplu pentru toată lumea.